Anna's Kitchen. Today I'm making some apple turnovers. These are really easy to make, super delicious, and I think they're even better when they're air fried than they are baked in the oven. So I really hope you enjoy the recipe. Don't forget to give me a like. If you're new here, then please become one of my subscribers because we make everything in the Ninja Foodie, which includes air fryer recipes. And if you do want a full copy of the recipe, which is also printable, it's available on my website, www.susannaskitchen.uk. Let's go and cook apple turnovers. Let's make some apple turnovers. I'm gonna start off by using sear and saute, and we're just gonna soften down and cook our apples. So let's put the apple in. You can use a mixture, you can use Bramley apple and then maybe a sweet apple as well. That works quite nicely as a balance. To my apples, I'm gonna add some dark brown sugar. 50 grams of sugar and then I'm actually using 50 grams of raisins as well. They're completely optional, you don't have to put those in. I love cinnamon with apple, so around half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Give those a good mix and we want to get these beautifully soft and caramelised in that sugar. Now I think we need to turn down the sear and saute, we don't want it too high. I'm also going to add a little bit of maple syrup as well. So you'll see that I've chopped the apples into sort of smallest sort of bite-sized pieces. So they shouldn't take too long to soften down. So I've put my apple mixture here into a bowl just so that it can cool down that bit quicker because I don't want that to be hot when it goes onto my pastry. My pastry I've cut into four equal squares because I'm making four of these. So we want to grab some of our filling and lay it sort of on one side because we're going to turn this over and make a triangle shape. You can make yours whatever shape you want to. I'm just getting the, trying to get sort of a right amount in there. So I'm going to be able to turn that over. Bit of apple that side. I think that looks good now. Great. We can turn that over. Excuse my dirty hands, making a mess on it. And then what I do is I seal the edges just with my fork like this. Give that a little brush with some egg wash. And then we can sprinkle over some demerara sugar on the top. Oh yes, look how nice that is going to be. And then we are going to cook these. Let me finish the rest because you don't really want to see me doing that. And then I will show you how we're going to cook them. Now these fit perfectly on my rack. So I've laid it up. We've got a double layer there. I put parchment paper on them so that they're not going to stick. We can lower those in and we may find that the top ones cook quicker than the bottom ones and that's pretty normal because obviously we've got the height difference. So just keep an eye on them, but I'm going to air fry now on 180, oh my goodness, look at my hands, 180 for 15 minutes. And like I said, keep an eye on them because you've got them staggered and I know that the top ones are going to brown and cook quicker. Okay, so these have had about 12 and a half minutes now, and the top ones are done. As you can see, I flipped them over just to make sure we didn't have a soggy bottom and they're nice and crisp all over. Look at those, they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to remove those, and you can see that the bottom ones are very anemic and they need more cooking. So the ones on the bottom had probably another five minutes and I turned them over, the same as the top ones, just to make sure that the bottom is nice and crisp. Look at those, they are so golden on top because we've got that sugar that we put on there. Absolutely gorgeous, so flaky and the kitchen smells absolutely incredible. I really hope you enjoy the recipe. Please don't forget to give me a like on this video. If you want the full written recipe, head over to my website, www.susannaskitchen.uk. Enjoy, everyone.